Yo, yo, what is up everybody? Mr. G Squared here and welcome to a special edition of Rivals Replay. This is a match that I personally played against a, another player named Martin. And I'm going to pause this real quick right now just to uh, get a little bit of an intro out of the way here. These rival replay with analytics, I will be pausing the videos. I will be discussing what I was thinking during this match, my strategy, what I was trying to do. These videos are not going to all be me winning. Some of these will be me losing. Some of these may even be a draw. I've never actually had a draw, but you know, if I ever get one, I'm probably going to do this. These are also matches that I have not recorded. These were off camera matches. So that's why they're in this playlist. If, uh, the, the, the kind of rule that I'm going with with this playlist is going to be one, close matches, uh, two, win or lose, three, players that I play a lot regularly, such as like Battaglia and Silver Cruise, uh, good win rate with them, good loss rate with them, uh, we're kind of like 50-50, or just players that I have, uh, you know, that, that are on the top of the game, that are on the top of the board, that inspire fear when you see their names, right? <laughs> Went <laughs> in the game anyway. Uh, players like uh, Blade, Alicia Destiny, uh, Jade Zion, Craig Soul, Real Sud, uh, Star. If anybody remembers him, I I've played him a handful of times. He's one of those only. He is the only player on that list I have never beaten. I have at least beaten everyone else one time. <laughs> now I've always lost to them more, but that's uh, that's beside the point. And this is intro is getting way too long, so we're gonna we're gonna fire things back up here. Get the match moving again. I have decided in this match to build a laser squad first, which is not normally what I do when I am Nod. When I am Nod, I am doing my Harvester first almost all the time. This time I decided to go with a laser squad first, and that was to get the early game scouting done. That's something that I don't typically do, but I've been experimenting with here recently. I haven't actually done it on camera yet because it's never really paid off any better than just starting with the harvester so I kind of just divert back to what's normal when I'm doing this now uh, let's pause this and take a second here I now have vision that he has two shockwave infantries both level 11 I know he has a level 11 missile squad I have level 10s not a big difference not too worried about that at this point I have decided to go heavy into flame troopers for the early game missile that's what that is my goal here i am planning on spamming flame troopers to get the hold of the points push the points keep two of them and attempt to uh what do they call it battle for the third turn at yellow i don't even counter it <laughs> what is that called uh contest i'm gonna try and contest the third platform down in the lower left hand corner what i have decided to do as you can see on the top platform, I have pushed my laser squad forward. What I am trying to do is actually get them killed. Because that is going to make it so I can build another flame trooper squad faster. So I'm now pushing my third squad. That laser squad has died. And in just another hot second here, I'm going to have another flame squad out. Now what my plan here is to push forward, take out... Okay, we're going to pause it again. So on this top point, my plan was to... Where that gun just got deployed, his uh, strong arm special ability, the uh, the strong arm turret, I think is what it's called. I was planning on pushing that flame squad down, pushing the flame trooper on the top point to the left, and pushing those two flame troopers above the top right or the bottom right point, excuse me, down onto the bottom right point, thereby giving me contest on the third point, control the top and soon to be control the bottom, because he cannot put a 4th shockwave infantryman on the field anytime soon, because we are both capped out at our 5 units. Uh, I, but I have the advantage because I have more flame trooper squads. However, this gun came as I was moving my other forces, and I did not see it pop up quickly. So now what we're going to see is me attempting to contest the bottom point with virtually two guys that are about to die. A squad has just died for me. I've brought in my next flame squad. However, he's now contesting two points in control of one. So my initially, my initial strategy has completely backfired on me, and I gave him the first rocket. I, I completely surrendered it, surrendered it to Martin. As you can see up here on the top now on Martin's side, he's now built a second harvester, which, with the loss of that missile, 
Me attempting to clear out his shockwave infantry, I have no idea. I didn't even catch it. So, my economy is also pretty well wrecked. Um, I was able to just drop 50 onto that. However, I only just now know that that harvester is out. Because I did not note that, hey, he's not bringing in any infantry anymore. No vehicles, no nothing. It's a little weird. He could be going for what I did, which was build a, a second uh, unit generator. He could have gone War Factory. He could have gone Air. I just dropped my Air. Maybe that's what he was doing. However, I already had infantry moving out, and he didn't, which means Harvester drop, which I just now noticed. So then I abandoned my Air Tower. I have built my War Factory to get some bikes. I am now pushing my Flame Squads forward and pulling them back now because I caught the turret that time. Uh, my Flame Squad pushes war, war for a reason. I chose not to go for the attack bikes here and go for the Scorpion instead. The main reason was by the time I was ready to build the unit, as in my ticker ended on when I can build the unit, I had enough for the Scorpion. So I built the Scorpion for the... Uh, for the, for the ex extra armor, the extra HP. And it was a good thing that I did, because look what comes out. A flippin' Wolverine. <laughs> so that is tearing up my Flame Trooper squads. He counters my Scorpions with a Missile Squad. So I am dropping my Scorpions down, trying to move that first Flame Trooper unit back up to the top of this. I am now re <laughs> very well deployed in my uh, Wolverines everywhere. Luckily, I killed that one shockwave squad that was sitting down there. I completely sacked my first uh, Inferno, throwing him over top of those uh, missile squads, as you saw there. The You know, I'm going to pause this because it's getting a little crazy here for me talking so slow. As you saw, that first Inferno didn't even drop a bomb. I flew him over top of a missile squad and the strong arm turret in a, in a panicked click to try and get him onto the point <laughs> and uh, cost him his life. One thing that you will notice, he drove where my uh, scorpion tank is exploding on the bottom left point. He put a harvester there. I moved my scorpion up top. I moved attack bikes down to the bottom. And I'm now pushing flame squads onto the points to attempt to contest these. Keep control of that top point. Contest the bottom point right now. It's a game plan. I also had enough Tiberium with the harvester kill to build the obelisk. So I built that obelisk to uh, give myself some extra damage boost. And to basically solidify that bottom and top point in my favor, because where I place that, that obelisk can hit anywhere on those points. Let's pick this back up. Now my flame trooper squad is focusing on these rifles, I t or missile squads, excuse me, on the bottom right hand point. They just died. And <laughs> that missile was really close. If you see where this missile is, that is because when those rockets, uh, that missile squad on the top point, got to the top point, I prematurely turned my flame squad onto them for their attention. Now, <laughs> I was able to turn them back with basically probably less than a half to a quarter of a second to uh, take them out. So let's see where we go from here. Now, as you can tell, he's moving those... Uh, Zone Troopers down on that bottom left-hand point into my attack bike, which is going to cause me a big problem. But my Flame Trooper squad is able to clutch out that win against the uh, Missile Squad. Now I have control of more than one point. Now we are contested. However, because his Wolverine is not going to be a match for my Scorpion, and with the Obelisk assisting the... Uh... Hold on, let's pause that. Let's pause that, because that is not what was supposed to happen. With that obelisk and the flame trooper squads dealing all that damage to those zone troopers on that bottom right-hand point, I had this missile secure. However, what you don't see here, I actually hit a lag spike during this game, right? So I'm, I'm trying to... I was attempting to tap my flame trooper squad to engage where that zone trooper squad was to move them forward, and what happened was... When I lagged, I was still selected on my Scorpion, so my Scorpion is actually moving down there now, no longer engaging the Wolverine, and I have a very weak Flame Trooper squad engaging a fully stocked Shockwave Infantry squad on the only contest point, <laughs> which is not good. So, as you can see, I am just about to lose that. I cannot, I could not 
push in because his Wolverine went into block. Now, my Scorpion tank luckily actually made it in time and was able to destroy that Wolverine. Now, I'm going to push my Scorpion and my Flame Trooper squad over slightly. I now have control of both points. However, I'm about to lose that, obviously, because this Shockwave infantry is coming down. I drop an Inferno because he's got only infantry on the field, and I know that, and I do not know what is coming next. Because of that, the only thing that can really hurt this Inferno that I know Martin has in his arsenal is a Wolverine. A Wolverine is not going to one-shot an Inferno. So I drop the Inferno, I'm moving it into the point to get rid of these shockwaves, and hopefully sit my guy on the point. That's the plan, right? Now, he's not going to reload in time before the Wolverine kills him. So if it came to it, I would move him onto the point, drop it on the Wolverine, and fly away. Fly down to the bottom, try and push the Scorpion tank onto it. That's not what's about to happen, though. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to read this situation. I see the missile squad there. I've attacked the missile squad. I am now going to... I see that his harvesters are also lined up. The missile has launched. Thank goodness. I've got control of one point, contesting both because of that Inferno. My second Inferno is coming up. I see his Harvesters are lined up perfectly for me, which is where I am going. Now, he is moving a, right, a uh, Missile Squad over the fire, which is always a mistake. Uh, I don't know if they make it or not. They actually do. However, they are seriously injured <laughs> right now. So my single Flame unit here should be enough to kill them. He actually is not. Uh, I didn't actually remember that. He was able to torch out the last of my, my Flame Troopers there. I was able to destroy one Harvester, which led to my next Obelisk build. The Obelisk I planted there, um, because I can actually see that Sandstorm because of my Inferno Vision. So I plant that Obelisk, I have the Scorpion moving in, luckily I built a Scorpion. He's coming in, I'm gonna attempt to pull these Infernos back now. However, it did give me a little bit of damage. This Inferno down at the bottom is solidifying that point. This one is doing some work on there, however, he's not able to clutch it out. His Sandstorm is sitting in fire. However, the Sandstorm versus the Scorpion. Scorpion should win this out, even though he's got a level difference. Which he actually didn't, uh, so never mind that. I pushed attack bikes to the top to attempt to finish his last Harvester off, because I can, I can see that he has not built another one. Uh, I just lost the Scorpion down at the bottom, so my vision was still there. I know he wasn't mining that point and that he only had the, the one harvester up top. I'm attempting to crush the rest of his economy for the duration of this last missile. That's why those attack bikes went up there. <clears throat> now, the lucky part is that Inferno drop. That Inferno drop dropped that bomb onto the shock or the zone trooper, blasted it down on the bottom left point, did work, did some damage on whatever was sitting there. I think it was infantry before. My only problem is, boom, right there. I managed to clutch it out right here, and you can tell that I'm about to. He had a harvester driving in. He had one zone trooper and one sandstorm, which was one shot away from being destroyed. I managed to move my harvester onto the point to fully contest which delayed everything, as you can see down there, because my Harvester was actually moving on over to the far left Tiberium field, because it was technically the closest unoccupied Tiberium field. With that, my Scorpion was coming in. When my Inferno dropped that uh, bomb onto the Zone Troopers, it burned him out. My Scorpion finished the Sandstorm off, and the missile went off with only uh, my Harvester, a Scorpion tank, a strong arm turret and a right uh, missile squad left for that match. That was an insane match when I was playing that real time without, and those were basically the thoughts that were going through my head at that time as well. That was kind of my, my analytical feed behind it. As you can see, um, I did have uh, a couple screenshots posted up here on what the units were for both of us over top of our bases. Um, I'm not sure what the new update is going to reveal for all this, uh, whether it's going to change the way that replays are done, uh, because I know the new spectate mode is coming out here in a couple weeks. This is January 2019. A couple couple weeks from now, uh, the new, like, I think it's 1.31 or something like that is coming out, and it's going to it's gonna change a lot. The rank system is going to change. The 
way you you can challenge people outside your alliance challenge matches you can view live matches and i think the replay changes slightly as well the interface i hope it does because that'll be great i won't have to edit like this every single time um but that was that match i really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think of this down below in the comments i'm gonna probably make maybe one or two more of these it was a lot of fun to make, actually. I really enjoyed doing the talking, doing the kind of analytical decision-making that I was doing during this match. Um, but yeah, it was it was great. I, I had a nice time making this. Hopefully you all enjoy it. And you know what? Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.